Hello everyone. Thanks for joining me in the Allen Block workshop to learn about what it takes to successfully construct your Allen Block retaining wall project. What I will walk you through today are the backfilling and compaction steps once you have your first course of block installed. Now these are very important steps for proper retaining wall construction. Now let's grab our tools and head out back to our sandbox. How you backfill in and around the wall will minimize problems during installation. You will need to be careful not to move the block during these steps. If you need help, please refer to our installation guides found on our website. Once the base course is in place, fill in the area in front of the blocks with on-site soils. This will keep the base course blocks from shifting when filling and compacting. Fill the cores of the block and at least 12 inches behind the block with wall rock. Use a flat-nosed shovel to remove the excess wall rock from the top of the blocks. Then backfill behind the wall rock using approved on-site soils like gravel or sand, which are always better than clay soils. So with the wall rock and infoil soils in place, use a mechanical plate compactor starting from the back of the block and running in a parallel path with the wall. Consolidate the wall rock and then backfill material. Make a minimum of two passes for each section. Remove any excess material from the top of the surface of the blocks by sweeping the block clean with a broom. This prepares a smooth surface for a placement of the next course of blocks or reinforced grid. Remember to keep all heavy equipment, those that you ride as an example, at least three feet away from the back of the blocks. Always compact in eight inch lifts, the height of a full size block or less. Once compacted, check the base course for level and adjust as necessary. So let's review what we have covered for site preparation and excavation. You want to fill in front of the block with on-site soils. You will then fill the cores in 12 inches behind the block with the wall rock. Typically, on-site soils can be used behind the wall rock. Then, compact the entire area starting behind the block and work into the backfill area. Check the base course to ensure it has remained level. Backfilling your wall and then proper compaction of the rock and soil is vital for a successful project and why you need to take your time and do it correctly. Compacting will increase the strength of the soil and reduce pressure on the wall. If the material is not compacted, it will settle over time and collect water or lead to bulging within the wall. By following this simple process, you will minimize these future problems and ensure you have a project to be proud of. For the next steps, go to the gravity wall or reinforced wall section or visit us at allenblock.com. Happy building! Always better! Always Allen Block.